Hey everyone, today we're going to be seeing if you could actually use umbrellas as a parachute. So I have two fairly large umbrellas here, and instead of using them to keep me dry, I'm going to actually be seeing how much they slow you down when you jump off some high stuff with them. Now before I even start this, I want to put a warning out there. This is one that's easy to try to copy at home. Don't do it. Don't try to jump off anything high with just umbrellas. So at this point in my life, I do know a little bit better than just to head up to my roof and jump off and see if I survive with the umbrellas. So let's start out low and get a little bit higher. Jump. Okay. Was that practice? Did that hurt? That didn't hurt. I'm so nervous. Honey, you're gonna break your leg. I don't think so. Um, this is a bad idea. Okay. So I started out trying this in my backyard on my kid's play set. And eventually my wife put the hold on that. She was afraid I was gonna break my legs and I was afraid of that too. So we took to the water. So in my preliminary tests, one problem that I found is even though these are wind resistant, here's what happens if you get too much wind on them. <laughs> this. So this is a problem. So in order to fix this, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie some strings from the end of the umbrella to the handle so that that doesn't happen. Okay, so all I've done here is tie strings on the end of each of these so that now when I pull it really fast, it doesn't flip backwards. Okay, first let's see what it looks like to jump off without the umbrellas. Did it work? <laughs> okay, so now if we go back and look at the footage and measure it, I'm gonna measure from my belt. So where my belt hits that top line to when my belt enters the water, let's time how many frames it took to get from the top there into the water. And then I'm just gonna click through and count how many frames it takes to get to the water. And then I'll do the same for without the umbrellas to right when my belt hits the top line. And then I'll click through to when it gets to the water. So for the umbrella one, I count that it took 67 frames. And without the umbrella, it took 55 frames. And I was filming at 120 frames per second so that means that without the umbrellas, it took me about 0.56 seconds to hit the water. And with the umbrella, it took 0.46 seconds. So that means I gained about a tenth of a second with the umbrellas. Now the problem with this experiment here is in order for a parachute to start giving you a lot of drag, you have to be moving pretty fast because it's a proportional to the velocity that you're going, the amount of drag. So what if you were going the speed of a skydiver? So when you're falling through the sky, the larger the square area of your parachute, obviously, the slower you're going to go. So when you go parachuting, the typical recommendation is 1.75 square feet per pound of body weight. So that means that I would need around 262 square feet of parachute to slow me down enough to be safe to land. So the area of one of these umbrellas has around 20 square feet of area. So together I have 40 square feet. So that's nowhere near the 260 square feet that I need to slow myself down to a safe speed if I were skydiving with these. So if you use the drag equation, which is this equation here, you find that if you solve for velocity and assume that the same drag coefficient applies for umbrellas and parachutes, 
you find that if I use these umbrellas to go skydiving and use it as my parachute, you would end up going around two and a half times faster than you would have if you used a parachute that could have supported you. So typically when landing, when parachuting, you wanna land at around 12 miles an hour or so. Now that can vary a lot, but I'm gonna say 12 miles an hour. So that means with these, I'm gonna hit the ground at around 30 miles an hour. But that actually sounds very optimistic. I'm sure that these things would not hold up while falling through the sky because when you first initially pop them out, you're moving at a high speed and it has to slow you down to that speed. So no matter how you do the math, you're not gonna wanna try to use umbrellas as parachutes anytime soon. And I should mention, don't try this at home. No matter how big you think your umbrella is, it's not gonna work. Okay, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video's out. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.